Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, thanks for stopping by again. Um, today I wanted to do a little talk about um, how I store my tackle in my boat. Um, everybody has their own ways they like to store things, so I thought I'd share mine. Um, my boat being older, a 2001, there's not a lot of storage in the back deck. I only have one um, locker. Uh, compartment back there that I try to keep open for uh, co-hangers or if I have a buddy come along or something they can utilize that space. Um, now the front deck has a decent amount, um, still not as much as the new boat, but I think that I do a pretty good job of keeping uh, as much tackle as I have in here. Um, pretty organized and being organized like that is a really big key for tournament fishing. Um, as you all know, I fish a lot of tournaments, and having to move a couple things out of a locker or dig under stuff to get to something else is a time waster, more or less. And when you're in a tournament, you want every every second you can, because um, those add up over the day, maybe get you a few extra casts. And uh, anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys my setup. Maybe I'll give you some ideas, or maybe if you have better ideas, you can leave a comment down below in the description. Um, and, uh, I'd be happy to see any of your ideas on how you guys do storage. So, let's jump in to the lockers, guys, and I'll show you what I got. Alright, guys, as you can see on my front boat here, I have a rod locker, another rod locker, and this, this storage compartment here and this storage compartment here were, um, an add-on when this boat was purchased and then this front one here is just a <clears throat> the standard one so this little piece right here was an add-on which gave a lot more storage up here and made the deck quite a bit bigger um, plenty of room for two guys so let's dive into this first locker here I have a lot of the Plano 3700 um, as you can hopefully you can see there I got everything labeled um, I'll use this locker right here mostly for like springtime right now I have a lot of traps square bills uh, flat side crankbaits jerk baits um, stuff of that nature There's a little a-rig box so I use this as sort of like my day box um, and at times on to the next tier this I just have some three totes in here this tote here swim baits just some extra swim baits for stuff um I need some new label on a couple of these are starting to wear off this here is a whole thing of different style finesse worms um, and whatnot catch them tackle money worm pretty good worm right there um, and last but not least in this locker is my jig trailer box so I can just kind of fan through this here to see what I need almost like a little file cabinet um, these little totes work perfect for plastic bags. And this locker here isn't super dry, so these totes are um, great for being in there. Keeps my bait safe from getting all wet. Alright, up to the next locker here. This locker I've changed up a little bit this year. Um, I went to some of the deeper... 3700 series um, deep planos um, I got like here I got my dip and die and some glue hooks crawls tubes beaver style baits sinkos and some magic shad and different things there battle box I have tons of stuff in there um, 
And then I just got a little Z-Man um, finesse uh, bait here, mostly just TRDs and Ned Rig baits. But uh, as you can see, I don't have to dig anything else out to get to the stuff. And these bigger ones are baits that I use quite frequently. Here off the side, I just got a, some of the new Plano Edge. This is just a smaller Plano. It's a 3600. And uh, this one here, I got my Ned Drop Shot, Wacky Rig, and some Sea Rig stuff in it. And then this one here I have is um, just all swim bait heads. And nice and clean and organized so if i need something i can go right to it so these both of these lockers i've shown you here um especially this one is stuff that i use really frequently quick and easy to get to now this side here i've got these little containers i bought them at an office supply store um, as you can see, I got six planos in each one. I got a few more of the edge boxes here. These are the 3700. But um, this is some stuff that like normally, um, so like when it gets into summer, I will move some of this stuff over to the day locker or the season locker, whatever you want to call it. Um, so it's more readily available. I don't have to lift this up with there being rods and stuff on it to get in here to get to this stuff. Um, like summertime, you know, my deep crank baits, my 6XDs, 8, 10XDs is going to be over there. Um, my football jigs, it's things like that. Um, spoons. One thing I'm going to show you here while I got this open. Um, sometimes you get the fish that you catch deep and they want to flip over in the live well, or sometimes not even deep and they just want to act goofy. I know you can bleed the air bladder on them, which I've done. But these little ice fishing depth finders, sometimes you can catch them at the end of the season at Menards for like 50 cents a piece or something. I have some of them in there so I can clip them on my fish if they start acting crazy because um, if you can keep them upright, they'll normally get acclimated after a while and have no issues. But if you let them roll over on their side or up on their belly like that, a lot of times it'll cause the fish to... Uh, to die so I've been fishing tournaments for a long time and I think I've only lost probably eight or ten fish and we're talking like close to 20 years of tournament fishing here's my little buzz bait box um, spinner bait I got line I keep my rain gear <clears throat> inside of a big plano because of my boat shed you know it's not an enclosed building so mice can get in here and i'm not about to have a hole chewed in a really nice rain suit um so anyways i got this locker's not huge and deep but i have it stuffed full pretty good and organized um i got some lucas oil slick mist down there and then last but not least is my rod locker um, i don't know if you guys can see very well i got the rod organizers up there and you can fit a couple of rods in each one of those um last year i took this hanger out of here and then kind of just threw them in there to get more rods in there and for me once i start getting over like 20 rods it just seems like a jumbled mess so i put it back in this year and um i have it organized where like just say these are my <clears throat> All my glass rods for cranking and stuff and then this is like these two right here are six eight medium heavy um these two rods right here seven two medium heavy these two rods right here seven three heavy these two rods right here seven seven heavy then i got my spinner rods over there so that's my system i know in my mind that my glass rods are on the right side of the locker and then as i go across um you know they get heavier action longer rods so um i hope i hope that helps you guys out a little bit i'm like i said everybody's got their own little organization process 
that's just how I do mine and uh, I think it's gonna work out really well with the um, new year coming up changing this front locker up here a little bit because that one was a little bit of a mess so <clears throat> all right guys so there's a little walkthrough of how I organize my boat um, I know a lot of boats have different storage um, like I said I only have one locker on the back of this boat that's only it's not very big little compartment um, try to keep that empty for my co-anglers um, but anyways I hope some of you enjoyed this video um, if you're new to the channel click the like subscribe um, trying to get more stuff out to you guys um, and as always thanks for following along and until next time tight lines <laughs>